Wednesday, March 1st, 2023, Sony is set to reveal everything that we have been inquiring about. Their 2023 lineup, the L series. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So subscribe if you like content like this, smack a like on this video, and let's get started. Now, Sony, of course, as we know, didn't show up at CES. Now, I thought that they would wait even longer than this to show up at IFA. Thankfully, we don't have to wait that long. And again, next week, next week Wednesday, they're going to be showing up, which is fantastic. They've announced as much on their Twitter page. So that's great. Wonderful. We've got that confirmation in writing. Now, one of the things that I think we should talk about is before not showing up at CES, they said that they were excited to share new, techno new technologies with us, right? And so this hints or suggests that there's going to be something new about the L series that all the other Sonys basically in a nutshell before that maybe couldn't do or maybe there's something truly new. We'll see. Um, one thing I do want to note, though, is the lining kind of naming theme is exactly the same as Sony has done every year. So, yeah, just take the K series and put an L on top of it and you have every single model more or less that they're planning on releasing in 2023. So a 95 L, uh, you know, X 95 L X 90 L just go ahead and do that for all the TVs of last year. And you have the naming systems. Now, again, in a similar fashion, you can do the same thing with sizing, you just kind of look at what sizes that they offered last year. And those for mo for the most part, I believe have been confirmed to come back this year. Um, now, what I believe Sony is going to do this year, I think they're going to do more of what they've been doing. You know, they're going to go, oh, we've got a contrast booster pro or contrast pixel boosting pro technology or something. They play on that a lot. Oh, we've got triluminous Omega Max or something dramatic around their triluminous technology. Every year they like to do that. I don't know why those particular technologies are what they focus on, but that's what they try to sell people on is being like, yeah, we did it. We ultra did it. We made it so fantastic. I, I just don't understand that part of it. Um, and again, they, they like to separate what they name the LED stuff from the, you know, OLED stuff. So that's something to keep in mind, at least as far as these technologies, like sometimes the LEDs will get a lesser version of triluminous than what the OLEDs will get. Um, same thing with like the peak illumination feature that they sell off in the form of a gimmick, of course, because truthfully speaking, honestly, what matters is processing. And I think the most impactful thing they can do this year is maybe like the Sony XR Ultimate or the XR Extreme. I think people really want to see the next level of processing innovation from Sony, maybe some AI based stuff to where, you know, we're getting even more refined contrast and tonality and things like that. Um, of course, all that stuff is yet to be revealed, but I, I truly believe it will be more of the same from what we've seen from Sony, especially since they don't have all four HDMI 2.1 ports. We kind of already got that confirmation. Um, again, it is unfortunate that Sony is going down this road but it is what it is. We kind of know that Sony kind of tends to be a little bit behind everybody else in terms of HDMI 2.1 support across the board. That being said, I think Sony's biggest weakness that we've seen last year and the, all the years prior, I think honestly from 2018 onward to now has been they've really struggled with getting motion processing correct. That is going to be an area I'm definitely going to be focusing on heavily. Um, again, with the colors as well, we're going to make sure that they fixed the issue that we had with their HSL or hue saturation luminance slider and the color management to where it just would do wonky stuff. So we're gonna do a lot of investigating and uncovering that stuff when it launches. But I wanna hear from you, what Sony model are you excited about? Since we know that we can just apply an L to basically every model from last year, what particular model are you excited about? Is it the A95L? Is it the, you know, X90L? What, what got you so curious that you're waiting to see what they do on Wednesday. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.